Um, I've been running around like a crazy mad lady all morning long. It's currently 2 p.m. Yes, I'm already in costume because if I'm not, oh my God, it's cold. If I don't get, oh, the sun. If I don't get in costume now, I don't think I'll make it in costume. Um, Eddie is still out of town. He is driving back from Houston right now. Y'all can't see anything, hang on. One moment, please. Obviously, my hair is not meant for this weather. Hang on. Okay. I walked outside for 6.2 seconds. Oh, there goes the dog. And this is how my hair looks. I'll be back. Okay, I lost my cape. I lost my bow. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> um, like I was saying, Eddie is still driving home from Houston. I begged and pleaded with him to be home by four, but he is now scheduled to arrive at six. The thing is we were supposed to be at the neighbor's house at 5.30 to do dinner. We always do like a quick, fun little pizza dinner for the kids before we go trick or treating. And then we're gonna start trick or treating at six or that's the plan because it's freezing today. Of course, Halloween would be the coldest day of the year so far in Texas. And I'm not exaggerating. I think the temperature is supposed to be 30 by like seven o'clock. So we want a good hour for the kids to trick or treat while the sun is still a little up because by seven it's like pitch black dark. So um, I've been running around like a crazy lady. Our AC unit that we just replaced in January, no, in June, so it's a few months old, um, the heat wouldn't turn on. So last night it got down into the 20s or like 28. So our house was 52 degrees. I felt horrible. I had the kids in like footed fleece pajamas with blankets and I couldn't get the heat to turn on. So um, I had to call those people today. They came over. Apparently there's a gas switch on your actual unit that's like inside of our attic upstairs that they just didn't turn on when they replaced it. So he just came and like flipped a switch and then you know that stinky smell just started happening all over the house. So that was fixed. Um, because it's like an ice apocalypse outside and super freezing, I realized uh, today that the kids don't have gloves and hats. Cameron's jacket doesn't fit. My jacket is like seven years old and doesn't fit at all <laughs> like I just I don't fit into it so um, I had to go to Target so um, sorry David Ramsey I blew the October budget <laughs> but it was all necessary I had to get a coat if we were gonna be outside tonight like the kids have to have gloves and stuff so all of these cute little outfits we're gonna have on we're gonna get a picture of them and then we're gonna throw coats and scarves and hats on top of all of it. So um, if you didn't guess already, we're Toy Story. I'm Bo Peep, Eddie's gonna be Woody, Cam is Buzz Lightyear, Rayma is Jesse, and Mav is Forky. So Mav was gonna be Mr. Potato Head, but um, I couldn't find someone to make the costume in time and I didn't find anything online that I liked for a baby. Um, the Forky costume, is hilarious. Let's just hope I can at least get him to keep the, the mask on for a photo or I'll at least get it on here. So um, real quick, I have to make some booze. <laughs> We're gonna boo the neighbors. Yes, it's Halloween. No, we haven't done our neighborly booing yet, but we've been booed like five times. So when I go get Rima from school, on the way to go get Cam, I'm gonna let her boo all the houses as we leave the neighborhood. So I'll show you what I'm about to do because I think it's really, really cute. Okay, so all of my neighbors boo each other. If you don't know what booing is, it's like when you uh, drop off little treats around Halloween that says you've been booed. Um, the stores like sell cute little things like that. Um, I got this from Target and it says uh, we've been booed. So you can put this on your door um, if you're the neighborhood that like only boos a house one time and you kind of pass it along and then you boo a house. But we have like a neighborhood click and we just all boo each other over and over and over again. So um, we've been booed, like I said, like five times and just with surgery and everything, we did not get around to booing till today. But I found this cute little idea. I bought um, some white balloons with black strings and I am going to write, 
write the word boo on the balloon and then I'm just going to tie a pack of Oreos to the bottom of the balloon. So Raymond's just going to sit this at their door so when they open the door they're just going to see a balloon like sitting there like this saying boo with a pack of cookies. So it's something simple. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, a few years we did booze and like we left bottles of wine for the parents, which is cool. Uh, but this year we kind of kept it pretty simple. So I'm going to do this and show you the results after Ooh, I, I love it. Okay. So this is what it's going to look like. So they're just going to open their door and see a little white balloon. Like it's supposed to be a ghost. That was my idea behind it. So it just says boo. Um, you could even draw, um, my original idea was to just draw a ghost face. So like two eyes and an open mouth and put a little note right here that says you've been booed or just boo on it. But I don't have time to print anything. So I just wrote it on the balloon, tie it to a bag of Oreos and voila, you've been booed. I know, tell her hurry up. So I just woke up that one for a nap and I have all of the stuff laid out so we're ready to go. Yeah. Rayma is dressed. There's Jesse. Okay, where's your hat? Let me see you with your hat on. Where's my hat? Oh. So cute. Hat? Yeah. <coughs> oh my gosh, how cute. Here, pull it down just a little bit. So cute. Yeah, that's a really cute Jessie. So she's ready. I also have her extra hat and like scarf and gloves. Her Halloween thing, Cameron's costume is ready to go. And then Maverick is also ready to go over here. So we're gonna go grab Cam. Actually, we're gonna go boo the neighbors, go grab Cam, come back, get the boys ready. I've got the, um, I'm doing some barbecue, what are they called, meatballs. They're like cooking right now, so trying to get everything ready. We've got an hour and a half. You didn't tell me we were gonna go boo. Let's go boo. I've already made the things. You wanna see them? They're at the front door. Look how cute they are. Maverick, let's go. So everyone's balloon says boo, and then it's tied to Oreos. <laughs> are you booing? Oh, are you ready to go? Come on, come on, hurry. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, not yet, not yet. Hang on. Go, go, just keep on going, just go around. You're so silly, Rayma. I can try to go as fast as I can. Okay, so grab the next one. They're gonna see us. It's okay, it's okay. They're trying Open, grab the next one. The next house is literally <laughs> two houses over. <laughs> Hang on. There's a car behind us. Hang on, Rima. This is gonna be hard. Be careful going across. She looked both ways. She looked both ways. <laughs> She's coming. <laughs> Come on, hurry. This is way more harder than I thought. Last one. <laughs> okay, seatbelt on. I am out of breath. <laughs> I almost fell down the steps. What? You did good. I had to go as fast as I can. I, I almost think the like, only person that saw us was Miss Nicole. Yeah. Because, like, it was just a little hard. <laughs> You're funny. When, when I had the door open, that that's when I started to do good. 
it's because I had to open the door and then get in a car and then we had to drive home. So yeah, we were on our way to Cameron's with Bo Peep Mommy. Okay. <laughs> Those okay, bud. Delicious. You're not done? Okay, tell me when you're done. He's in the bathroom. I am just chilling, waiting till things come. Hey. Hi. Hi. Really? Bye. Oh, dear. Your face. Yeah. <laughs> the Forky even without the headpiece is just so funny because he's literally just supposed to be a fork with like pipe cleaners. The best part though is look guys, is the mask. Like it is giant. Look at it compared to Rayma's body. This is how big this mask is. And there's Mr. Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear, sir. <gasps> Hi! <laughs> Can you stand up and show me your costume? Yeah, I'll hold that. No, not right now. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Do you? Can I get you to put your Forky hat on? No, his fire. Okay. Do you want your Forky hat? Hold it. Wait, no, we want to be. Oh my God! <laughs> hang on, hang on. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, okay. Ready? There it is. <laughs> Yay, Forky! I don't know if this is gonna stay on more than two seconds, but all we need is a picture tonight. <laughs> BFF. All right, what are you? A piranha. Wait, I need to see the whole thing. He always has the coolest costumes. <laughs> I love it. Let's see. Oh my gosh, we've got a little baby Pennywise. Oh my goodness. That's kind of creepy, right? At least she's so cute. So cute. And brother's trying to be forky. Okay, ready? Wanna be forky? Let's be Forky. Okay, Hi. Okay, you gotta get up, bud. Get, get out. Get out. Get, bud, babe. He doesn't understand. Okay, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Yeah, go. Okay, go with mommy. Let Stay with go. Cameron, please. Go. go mommy. Come on. Go up. Hi. Say hi, Miss Shirley. <laughs> hi. Come on. You say say trick or treat. Say we don't understand how to do this yet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. He, he has no clue. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, there's a Hank in there. Hey, go get one, Mav. Mav, go. Go get a piece of candy. Go. Mav, here you go. go. Here you go. Okay. So right here. Math. 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 Are you having fun? Yeah. Do you want to take your training? 
Yeah. Hey, oh, hey. Don't. <laughs> Go. No. Oh, right. He's so confused. <laughs> Train wreck. Yeah, real life, right here. Like, <laughs> roller, roller, roller. And I was like, got the and she was like, here you go. I'm like, oh, oh okay. Thank you. <laughs> Happy day after Halloween. I don't think I ever finished last night's vlog. Once the kids started to trick or treat, like it was just pure chaos. Not like all the rest of the day wasn't pure chaos, but. I just, I couldn't, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't do well in high stress situations and I guess that shouldn't be stressful for me and I was really trying to enjoy it but like I'm not a high anxiety person but when you put kids running like from door to door like down driveways and across streets, like I don't know, it was just, it was a lot for me so I just turned off the camera. Um, <laughs> Maverick did like, three or four houses and Eddie pushed him the rest of the way. A few times there were people in the driveway and he would like push them up to the bucket and that was it. But Cameron ran for a good 45 minutes straight, house to house, kept up with the big kids and had the time of his life. So um, all in all, it was a success, even though it was a little stressful. I guess I just need to kind of let it go and just have fun with it, but you know, I try. Anyways, um, we went through the candy. It's all up there. Most of it won't ever get eaten. I'll eat it. She'll sneak it. Um, but anyways, it was a great Halloween. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. The next vlog that comes will be the room makeovers. Do y'all want a little sneak peek? I've been filming for the room makeovers for the past week. Um, they've just been taking a really long time. So I'll give you a little sneak peek on what you'll see. Um, we're moving Rayma upstairs. Cameron is moving into Rayma's old room and Maverick's getting Cameron's room. So here's a little sneak peek. This will be on the next vlog. that's all you get so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this vlog hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already give the video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one bye